This little guy is called a mystery snail. He's pretty cool. Just goes around and eats algae, eats any waste that's in your aquarium. Um, no good outside because it gets too cold for them. In a warm house you can have them without a heater but they are better off with a heater. You'll find that they often breed and you'll see a, a clutch of eggs on the underside of your top lids like a big yellow mess which is the eggs of a mystery snail. Um, you've got to be careful what you put with mystery snails because some fish like loaches some guamis will actually pick on them so just keep an eye out um, quite popularly kept with goldfish um, live bearers any sort of um, peaceful community fish relatively easy to breed yeah if you're just looking for a nice scavenger something different to go into your aquarium this is something to think about They can move surprisingly quick when they want to. That guy's just getting across the floor over there. And you do need to get quite a few of them if you want them to make an impact on cleaning the tank. They're nowhere near as effective as something like a catfish. They will munch on plants a little bit too, so just bear that in mind. And make sure your carbonate hardness is sort of at least two, if not higher, just to make sure they've got enough carbonate and calcium for their shells. The other one you can get for the aquarium too is the ram's horn snails, which are the little red ones, and they're a little red cold water snail. And make sure you acclimatise these to the tank as well, because they often don't go well if they're not acclimatised. Just watch out for your Malayan live bearer snails, which are the little cone shaped ones, because they breed way too quick and they overtake your tank and they're a pain in the neck. And if that happens, try and get something like clown loach just to munch them up or just add a light base of like a copper based medication that will usually knock them off. But be careful not to medicate too when you've got snails in the tank because a lot of um, medications will actually knock the snails off. And try not to let the water go too acid, they do better in slightly alkaline water. The nice high, if you get the KH a bit higher it does help their shells be a bit shiny too. Beautiful little animal.